Hi, and thanks for joining me on this webisode of Reclaiming Space. I'm Tracy K. Pierce. I'm a clutter coach, holistic organizer, and the creator of the Reclaim Your Space, Reclaim Your Life Bootcamp. Today I want to talk with you about creating your own donation accumulation area, as well as the importance of patience and diligence while you're working on your project. So as you can see here, I'm standing in front of a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm currently in the process of doing a major clutter purge at my house. And I do this about once or twice a year, and I usually will draw it out over the span of about a month. It's not like I just do it over one weekend and, you know, eight hours, 16 hours of flurry and get it out of here because I like to take a little bit of time this day, a little bit of time of that day, it allows me to do the other things in my life that I need to get done. So this is my donation accumulation area here. And it's actually in my dining room. And the reason I chose to put it in my dining room is because it's very close to the main entrance of our house. So when I'm doing the big purges, I do the big donation accumulation here. But this is also where between those purges, that if I come across something that I'm ready to get rid of, I'll put it here and know that it's time for it to go out of the house because I see it by the entrance and so I'm that much more likely to actually get it out of the house. So where your donation accumulation area should or shouldn't be in your home is really up to you. But I would encourage you to put it somewhere, like don't put it in your attic where you never see it or don't put it in a closet where you never see it because it's easy to forget I can't tell you how many times I've gone to clients' houses and they have a bunch of stuff rounded up in, say, the garage that's ready to go. They just never actually got rid of it. So let's talk a little bit about patience when it comes to this process. We're all familiar with the TV shows that they, they take a whole big project. Maybe it's a decluttering project. Maybe it's a home remodel project. And it actually took weeks months, <laughs> a whole big crew of people to do it, but then they edit it and chop it down and make it into this one hour episode. So my feeling is that this often gives us an unrealistic view of how long projects really take. So it's really important to continue to have patience with your project. Like this actually kind of drives me a little bit crazy because I like having my spaces clear but I'm allowing myself to be patient with the process over the month because I know at the end of the month, this again will be totally clear and clutter free. And the rest of my home will be that much more clear as well. Okay, so that's patience. What about diligence? Again, like I said, going to people's houses where they did some sorting, but they didn't follow through and finish that part of the project of getting stuff out of the house. So this might be teaming up with accountability buddy. It might be putting your donation accumulation area right by the home or right by your main entrance of your home. Because, you know, if you live in the city and you don't have a vehicle, maybe you're only able to carry one box down to that donation station at a time. Whereas, you know, if you live in a smaller city like I do and you have a, a vehicle, you can take a whole carload of stuff. But it's really important to continue with that diligence, knowing that even though it may feel long and drawn out compared to that hour long TV show, you're actually going to get it done. All right. Thanks for joining me again. I'm Tracy K. Pierce. If you'd like to learn more about me and my business, please visit www.synergyorganizing.com. And until next time, keep on clearing the clutter and be well.